Hey everybody, good to see you. It's Tuesday. So glad that you're hanging out with us. Um, I've been, um, it's been a good week for me already. I've been, uh, I get to announce baseball games. Um, uh, on Monday night I did, and um, this last weekend I did, and it's just a great time to, uh, to be at the ballpark. I have two happy places, and um, the ballpark is one of them. I just, I got peace there. Another one is at the beach, and I, I, find, I find peace there. But it's different, not like the peace that I'm gonna have when, I'm, when I get to be with Jesus. I think it's leading up to that, and heaven is the goal, but I want you to understand it really is. So Sophie and I, um, we were driving around in the cemetery. Not that we do this, and we do it. Well, we've been checking to see they're supposed to do something to my grandmother's grave to, to do some things for it. So we went by to see, and they hadn't done that yet. And as we're driving around, because we're in the very back, Sophie all of a sudden looks at me and she says, uh, a lot of these people are in hell. I thought, well, that's what she said. A lot of these people are nailed. And she might be right. The problem that I, I think I have is sometimes we don't realize that it's a real place. And so is heaven. Our hope is in heaven. Um, the good news is, if Sophie was thinking about it, she would also say, a lot of these people are in heaven. Hopefully. But all I can do is be accountable for who I am. And so... The goal for me is heaven, and that means I have to, as I talked about yesterday, fix my eyes on Christ Jesus. He's my author, and he's the perfecter of my faith. And when I get that going, everything else falls into place. Let me read some scripture with you. 1 Thessalonians 4.13. We don't want you to be ignorant about believers who have died. <laughs> That's a Sophie moment. We don't want you to grieve like the people who have no hope. There it is. We are to grieve as people who have hope. Now, I need you to understand some of the best, some, sometimes people ask me, you like doing serve, or you like doing funerals or weddings better? <laughs> I, I, I like doing funerals better. <laughs> Pray for me. Because I, I feel like at least there, I can actually minister. Uh, weddings, they're just ready to get it over, get it done, get out of here, you know. Um, shut up talking, basically. But, but funerals, you can have those moments where you talk about Jesus, where you talk about heaven, where you talk about that person who had faith prayerfully. And they, they believe. And, and they're not like this world who, who has no hope. They have hope. They had hope in Christ Jesus. That's the goal, right? Let's keep reading. Revelation 21, 4. God will wipe every tear from their eye. There will be no, no more death or mourning or, nor crying or pain. For the old order of things will have passed away. Man, I am so thankful for heaven, aren't you? I'm so glad. And here's the thing. I think some of you are control people, aren't you? You know who you are. You want to understand everything about heaven. Right, Sophie? I'm speaking to you for a second here. We all want to have that. Well, I got to know this and I got to know that. Here's the deal that you got to know. You got to know Jesus. When you know Jesus, it'll fall into place. That doesn't mean you'll have all the answers. That doesn't mean you'll have total peace. Sometimes you need to be okay fighting a little bit to make that faith a little bit stronger. Some of you right now maybe need a wake-up call. I'm just telling you, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. I'm not going to tell you whether you're going to heaven or hell. You need Jesus, and you need to make that call for yourself. And the only way you can do it is... By realizing you need Jesus. Right? All right. So, didn't mean to go too deep. Sorry about Sophie's illustration, but I thought it was funny. Um, don't be a lot of the people that are going to hell. Be a lot of the people that are going to heaven. Let's pray. Father, I love you. I can't thank you enough. I know there are people... Um, that are hearing these words, maybe even for the first time, may they know heaven's the goal. 
As we understand the grief process, Lord, may we recognize the best way to get through it is recognizing that heaven is our home. Heaven is the goal. Heaven is what's going to get us through this. May we understand that. May we be encouraged by that. May it all come through Jesus who gives us strength, who gives us hope, who is the bridge to heaven. May we understand that in Jesus' name. And all God's people say, Amen. Have a great Tuesday.